You may not know it, but this sleepy Massachusetts town is the birthplace of one of YouTube's brightest stars. But there are no statues, no street signs bearing his name. But if you turn left at the local drugstore and head down the street to Gertie's ice cream parlor, just maybe you'll hear the local town folk speak his name. Robert Cornelius Dyke was born in 1987 to Edna and Theodore Dyke and they knew early on that Robbie was special. Not because he was born with a rare genetic disorder called homunculism, but because their curious and Gregorious boy had an early fascination with crime and investigation. A passion that led him to attend community college and study law enforcement, where Robbie excelled and became an important member of Walmart's enforcement unit. But when the store invested in security cameras, tragically, Robbie was let go. And this left him without his dream, without a purpose. But with the dawning of the internet and YouTube, Rob decided to start his own crime and investigation channel. And it flourished with fans by the millions, young and old, yeah, mostly young boys. And since Rob has given so many young boys pleasure, it's time for us, the true crime community, to return the favor and help fulfill a dream. Robbie's dream. I thank you. And God bless you. All of you. Okay, Rob, take 47. I'm Rob Dyke. Email Netflix today and get them to get me, Rob Dyke, to host Unsolved Mysteries. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah, and I don't know if anybody saw that special announcement, but Rob Dyke ain't called Rob Dyke anymore. He's changed his name to Rob Gaviscade or Gaviscon or something. Kind of like the diarrhea medicine, the same thing.